Hi, I'm Pete DeFazio with F Body Warehouse, and today what we're going to do is we're going to be showing you some of the different SEM color coat colors and the OER light blue. Now, what we do is we offer a service where we'll re dye um, your products so that when you get them to your door, they're all set and ready to go for you and install onto the car. So, what we're going to be doing, we've already washed all our products down, and what I use it's just, this is some uh, acrylic lacquer thinner. You can use paint thinner, enamel thinner, lacquer thinner. And we've already washed all our products down like that. When you wash them down, you really want to soak them in real good. Get them wet, it's all going to evaporate off. On new parts, what this will do is it's going to remove all the tooling oils that may be left on the product from the manufacturing process or if it's a used part, it'll re remove any of the armor all and different cleaners and solvents that have been used on the product over the years. I paint on top of cardboard and I try to use clean cardboard. And the, the reason why is we have tons of cardboard that comes through here from the parts. Um, you can use newspaper at home. And what I always do is I'm gonna hit the side with the least surface area overall first. And the reason I do that is once we have a bunch of paint on this, you're going to paint it and then the other side you're going to lift it up and some of the paint could peel that way. This way it avoids all that. So with the SEM products, the color coats, we've showed you you can use them on vinyl. But you can also use them on metal and plastic. Um, as always, it's an aerosol based dye. And what you're going to do is shake each can up real good. Give it about a minute or so. And then you're going to feather coat on about five coats of dye, and then we're going to apply a low luster clear coat. Now these are seat belt guides. It goes like this, it snaps onto this, it goes onto the seat of your car, and the seat belt slider goes through with the shoulder harness. So it's real important when you order the dyes from us, or if you will pick up dyes, SEM products from your local manufacturer, local distributor, that you're going to want to get the low luster clear coat to go with it. All right, so now we shook up our cans. Had a lot of fun, made some fun jokes with it, and everything's good. So I'm going to start here in the middle with this blue. When you're doing multiple colors, you know, it's always good to um, try to have some separation so that obviously you're not going to overcoat onto another, but that's probably not going to happen in your case because overall at home, you're going to be doing <laughs> one color. You're not going to be doing five different colors on the pavement. And if you notice what I'm doing, I'm just putting a dust coat. And this first coat is just a tack coat. That's all I want to do is get a little bit of tackiness to it. Try to get every side. We do a lot of these, so I can breeze right through these fairly quickly. This is one of our most common things that we reset color-wise for our clients. Now, another thing you got to know this is, again, is you don't want to do this on a humid day. Yesterday we were pouring rain here, so we totally forego attempted to do this video because with humidity, um, because this is an aerosol base, it really affects the color hue. And what I mean by that is it's going to turn your colors flat. And you don't want to do that. You want your colors to be rich. So Now, another thing to note is there is a surface primer available. I'm not a huge fan of the surface primer. Um, it is out there. You can use it. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. We found that we've had a little better luck not using it. But we do offer it to our clients. Some clients absolutely love it and stand by it. I've never had a lot of luck with it. I've actually had people um, have parts done using the surface primer upon request and end up returning them to get redone um, because the surface primer seems to lift. And I don't know why that is, but it's something we found along the years. Okay, so now we have our first coat laying on here. What we're gonna do now is walk away um, and uh, let this all set up 
we'll come back through. We're gonna hit another coat on this side um, and then another dusting on this side and then we're gonna flip everything. I'm gonna put down new cardboard. We're gonna hit the other sides with all the product and then we'll go on to clear coat. All right, as you can see, we've got, now we have three coats on our units all the way through here. Take a little walk around. This is our light dough skin. And if we flip them over, you see how you still see the black, obviously. It's kind of neat to see the actual coverage, though. That's really great coverage. We have our camel tan, light blue, firethorn red, and silver. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull all these off since they're dry. And then we're going to put fresh cardboard down and then turn them over and start the other side. All right, so now what we have, we got our new cardboard down. We got all of our units flipped over. And as you can see, you still see the factory colors here because we haven't laid any dye onto these yet. So just like before, we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply three coats of dye to them. We're now on our last coat of color we're going to be applying. We have both sides. And then all we have to do is apply the clear coat. Alright, so now we have our color on both sides. We have a total of six coats on the units. Um, got them all lined up in a row. We're going to be using the SEM color coat. This is the low luster clear. Low luster clear coat is going to give it more of a satin finish um, as opposed to a high gloss shine because all the parts didn't come high gloss, they came more of a satin. Applying this is just like applying the dye. Um, since this is a seat belt guide and it's going to get a lot of usage, we're going to get like three heavy coats on this for the simple reason that belt's going to be going back and forth on it. We don't want it to wear down. By using this, think of it as just putting a protective shell. So we spray this, give it a good shake. We have all our colors in a row because this is a, a clear product. We can just line everything right up and shoot it. Um, the dry time on this is really quick. It's about a five to seven minute flash time. And all we're gonna do is go right down the line. And since I'm doing so many products at one time, what I'm doing is I'm making sure I get all the sides, but I'm doing it sort of in my own way. I'm going down and getting the one side, then I'm going to come back and get the other side. Now once we get all our coats on here, we're going to have to, of course, flip them once more. the top sides of them. So now we'll let that sit for about five minutes. We'll come back, we'll lay another two coats, and then we'll flip everything. Put them onto fresh cardboard. We don't want these to stick at all. Um, and then we'll put our other coats on. All right, so we finished our, our clear coat on both sides now. The units have been curing, and we're gonna go ahead in just a minute. We're gonna box them up, send them out to the clients. Um, it's kind of cool though, because it's gonna give you a chance here now to see the finished product reset in the colors. Come on over. Now our lighting over here is not the greatest. It's some old school lights, but this is gonna be your light buckskin um, the same color here is also the doe skin used in 81. This is your camel tan, which you're going to find 77 to 80. This is the light blue, which is the OER dye, and that is found mid-70s through 79. 
This is a silver. This was used on like 1980, 81, and the 10th anniversary. And then this is going to be the Firethorn Red, which was found pretty much mid 70s up to uh, 81. Um, the SEM color coat system is a really great way to re dye your parts at home. It has a flex agent, so it's made to be used on vinyl, but as you can see, it works great on plastics as well. We offer the dye, or we can do this for you. Um, when you buy a product from us, simply go to the product restoration services and select to have us re-dye your color and select the color. That's what these clients have done in this case. If you're in the western New York area, we're right outside of Buffalo. We're in Lockport, New York now. We have a showroom here and today I just want to give you an idea of the different colors that are available from SEM. Here we have mo our most common um, second generation Camaro Trans Am but this follows through with pretty much all the GM. <clears throat> this is your uh, super white that's going to be found on uh, early 70s that's a stark white. This is the oyster with the Presidio mix that would be found on your AD Indy pace car and some 81 models. 79 10th anniversary which is the warm gray and the Presidio gray. This is uh, later models uh, 8081 it's the dark blue. Landau black for 70 through 81. We have a Portella red and a Firethorn red which are cr pretty correct for your carmines. You can even blend these together. We offer burgundy, camel, the light buckskin. This is a graphite um, which is used on your uh, later model 81's and this is that light blue. Now note the color on the lid for that OER color does not uh, reflect the actual color that comes out of the can of course. And then the surface primer. Also, SEM doesn't make another light blue which can be found in mid 70's which is the Blumpurst I believe it's the prep, correct spelling for it or word for it and also the Cordoba. The Cordoba here and the light buckskin go together for 1981 models. You'll find all the different dyes that we offer at fbodywarehouse.com and we appreciate your time today. We hope this video helped you and we're going to show you how to re-dye some vinyl next which will be a set of rear seats. So look for that video upcoming. Thank you and have a great day.